Oh, look, there's champagne. Last time on Nothing Lasts Forever, I was invited to Farmersville, Texas by the Merchant Honecker House, a Victorian bed and breakfast offering a chic retreat space to host relaxing stays, weekend getaways, photo shoots, and creative gatherings within walking distance to everything Farmersville. This week on Nothing Lasts Forever, I am... Surprise. I just wanted to pop on here and say thank you so much for your support of the channel and give you an update as to where I've been the last two months. You know, everyone always tells you, all you need is your smartphone to get started, and that's complete balderdash. <laughs> I thought my biggest challenge would be finding content that everyone would find relevant or entertaining or valuable. I am so blessed. I have met some of the greatest people of my life that I know I'll be friends with forever <laughs> that have helped me collaborate on some great content. I had no idea, none, zero, zip, <laughs> that being the writer, the director, the producer, the editor, a lot more overwhelming than I thought it would be. And I just, I got trapped inside my own head and just kind of like paralyzed with fear. I was telling anyone that would listen, I'm like, I need to find a job. I have to fund the dream. One told me, they're like, you know, they said, um, they said, you don't need a job. You need a sponsor. And I was like, the last time someone told me I needed a sponsor, I spent more time getting a divorce than I spent being married. <laughs> an idea. So here's what's been happening. I've been working on creating branding videos for small businesses, and I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look of that as soon as this shot is over. And I also started a Patreon account. But I completely em empathize with the term starving artist. And now I understand why all these YouTube creators, why they have Patreon accounts. When you start out as a, as a content creator, you're not compensated. And I read all of your comments, so I know you guys want better content. I know you want me to get a gimbal so the footage isn't shaky. I know you want me to be in the videos more. Because <laughs> I spent $200 on this thing that moves around and follows me so I can be in the videos. Using a laptop that was seven years old, that is seven years old, that was gifted to me. And I had to spend $600 on working drives, <laughs> whatever that means. If you want to support me and my content and what I do just as a, an artist or just to say thank you, please do, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you have a product and you'd love a professional video uh, created, then become a Patreon and be uh, like the top sponsor level. Talk to you soon. I love you all, thank you for your support. Just in case no one reminded you today, nothing lasts forever, so adventure on. My name's Ben Knotgrass. I've been in the RV industry for 20 years. April of 2020, I decided to start a company called America Go RV. My number one mission is to provide a service that no one can touch. Are you broke down on the side of the highway? You need mobile service to work. Call us at 830-463-4300. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we aim to please. This week, it's all about what to drink and where to eat. Oh, an espresso martini, it makes me go. Mm. The entire town is invited to a party. We have a salad breakfast at Charlie's before we check out the Northeast Trail. And don't forget to stay for the outtakes. of Boards and Bottles. Did I get that right? Cut. Our adventure begins at Bottles and Boards. This hidden treasure is the best place in town to eat for charcuterie boards, wine, amazing seasonal craft cocktails, and you'd be remiss if you didn't try their chicken pot pie. Everybody, this week on Nothing Lasts Forever, I am here with Courtney, the proprietor of Bottles and Boards, and she's gonna attempt to teach me how to make craft cocktails. What we call a smoky pear necessities. An ounce and a half of yep. pear. Yep, and we're going to do an ounce and a half of Maker's Mark. Ounce and a half of Maker's yep. Mark. So two ounces of that. Let's see, B and B ginger honey, simple syrup that we have. I yep, a slice up ginger. ginger. Yep, Just shake it. Yeah, okay. that's perfect. All right, this is exciting. Pears that we grill in the back, and then we add a little bit of cinnamon to them on top. Okay. Yep, there you go. All right. Yep, it's the real honey. Real. Honey. It's the honey. Right, we'll this is a this is a lemon. Our lemon. We're going to use our pear our. Our pear wood chips for this. We're gonna smoke this bed. Oh my me! God. We have so many contests. Oh, with different look, it's rolling. Yep. Now listen. Just a right. little stir straw, and that's it. That's our smoky pear oh necessities. Let's do it. All right. All right. That is really this good. Is really? Good. Thanks. And you? I'm in Texas Lifestyle magazine, and I didn't think I should get bombed 
while I was making the video. No. This is just as good or better than the Club House Martini in Chicago. I mean, this is really good. This is really good. And I know it. And she taught me how. <laughs> We're making is an espresso martini, and we're okay. gonna do an ounce and a half, and I'll just tell you when, like last an time. Ounce and a half. All right. I'm oh getting, yeah, I'm here we go. All right, that's good. 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 We'll make a double one here. So okay. she put three ounces in there, so we're gonna do we're gonna do an ounce and a half of this. So I'll do it. Of Kahlua. This is good. This is like the. Oh yeah. The okay, that's good. All right. All right. Ounce and a half of we're, Bailey's. We're rolling now. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Okay. So to make a double one, we'll go ahead and pour all of this in there. Housemade espresso. Housemade that's right. espresso. That's right. Oh, I'm never going to go to sleep tonight. You know what? That's what after parties are for. I was going to. Yeah. Like, well, I was doing it for your safety because. All right. How is my shaking? Is it better? Good, yeah. I'm sure it's not like this. I'm pretty <laughs> mm. Really? Okay, great. That's, you should be a bartender. This is yeah. so good. Yeah. yeah. The next morning, we started off at Charlie's, a southern scratch kitchen that has daily fresh offerings along with country kitchen classics, old-fashioned burgers, specialty sandwiches, and specialty drinks, not to mention a great little gift shop. And you cannot go wrong with the blueberry pancakes, southern fried steaks, and of course, bacon and eggs. It's all about location, location, location. So we've headed back to Honaker House to grab a bicycle because they're located less than a block away from the Northeast Texas Trail. It's a 130 mile planned multi-use trail following along US Highway 82 and Texas State Highway 34. When completed, the Northeast Texas Trail will be the longest hike, bike, and equestrian trail in Texas and the fourth longest in the United States. Uh, well, me and Mike, my very good friends, we're uh, Lodge brothers. So I said, I want to do something for my grandkids. And so we got to talk and he said, I'd like to do Noah's Ark. And so we did Noah's Ark and we just kind of put it together and he's the brains behind it and I'm just the grunt. So after a home cooked meal of some of the best spicy smoked queso I've ever had. So after dinner we set off to adventure and discover what the big fuss of Noah's Ark was all about. And of course I couldn't resist but climbed to the top so I could catch the view. It was definitely worth the climb. Thanks for joining me in Farmersville, Texas, and make sure you put it on your bucket list. It's definitely a not to miss. See you soon. It's time on Nothing Lasts Forever. Welcome to Laura's best video ever. She's invited me somehow. She got a hold of me. All right, so. Hello. I was gonna tell a joke, but I can't think of one. So cut. Well, Action. All right, so now, what's happening now? Oh, she made this up. Oh, and I never smoked it. Ugh. Cut. Action. Okay. All right, this week on Nothing Lasts Forever, I am with the proprietor of Bottles and Boards, and she is going to attempt to make me craft. Bleah. Cut. Okay, crafty. Nothing Lasts Forever, I'm with the proprietor of Bottles and Boards, and she's going to attempt to teach me how to make craft cocktails. Are you feeling confident? I am. You feeling lucky? Yes. All right. Cut. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. That's it. That's all I'm feeling.